Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're over here. Mark. Over here, over Mark. Here. Over here. <laughs> You're going to make cereal? Hey. <laughs> Did you sleep in that? <laughs> Come over here. Well, don't fucking eat breakfast on the podcast. Come over and hang out with us. We'll get mans to make you a coffee. That's what you need. Here, you might as well sit right here. Sit right here. Yeah, Tito's. Tito's. Yeah. Here, pass him. Pass him the mic. Can't even stand up straight. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, hey. hey. Good morning. Right, Mark is finally here. What I miss? Uh, well, you missed the story that I shared of you oh. eating mushrooms in Utah at four in the morning. Utah. Remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a big mistake. <laughs> Everybody went to you bed. Look I was so just... much like a weekend dad right now. <laughs> I'm just fucking ridiculous. Just staring up at the top of the bunk bed and uh, just questioning everything in life. And oof, that was a tough, tough night. Then I got like an hour of sleep. Then we went skiing all day. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was crying behind bushes. So what is it? So, <laughs> so what is it about you that can't say no to those moments? Well, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had a nice ambient sleep going. I was in La La. Oh, you, were, you, you took an ambient last oh, night? Oh, did I take an ambient? My God, I snorted one, then I jerked off. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. So I was in deep REM, and then I just kept hearing in my dream. Uh, Mark, <laughs> but I know that wasn't real because uh, old Dwayne wouldn't have any of that. <laughs> Dwayne, Dwayne. Oh, the landlord, the, guy, oh, the, yeah, landlord. the guy who owns the place. Yeah. <laughs> old uh, Dwayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm up. It's good to be back. There you go. Oh, that should man, work. That it's horrible. been inspired for four years. Oh. <laughs> My OCD can't let me get it throw it away. Should we all get naked with the lights on in the same room? <laughs> but at least you guys, you're like you're a stocky guy. At uh, the time, Lewis. I hadn't worked out a day in my life. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm, a, I'm, I'm skin and bones. So me laying next to that gal is a bad look. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't yeah. look good. Oh, yeah, right, have, you ever, right. have you ever gotten like where like your knees aren't necessarily touching the bed? Oh yeah. Oh you're yeah. You're a missionary, but you're on your toes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've totally had that. It's like a wave pool. You got to stay on, <laughs> and everything's moving and jiggling. It's tough. Yeah. The problem is because uh, a lot of people will say that. Jay, you used to say that. But then I think as you've gotten older, you fucked a lot more hot chicks. This was an old school Jay thing he would say. He was like, yeah, dude, you know what? Fat chicks, they're just you know better in bed. And I'm like, they're not. They're, they're giving. Uh, they're they're unathletic. Giving. They sweat. They, I don't know. They have no core strength. They fall the fuck apart, dude. You I don't know. I fucked some chicks. hot chicks who were just lay there because they know they can. Yeah, no, that exists too. Yeah, I've had it go either way for sure, but I know what you're saying though. It's like it's not that's not an across the board thing. Dude, fat chicks are awful in bed. They're just like, nah, I don't know. No, I fuck they're some gargling the balls and yeah. slurping. No, they suck stuff. good dick because they have to, but they don't have the athleticism <laughs> to fucking get out there and really. Well, I don't need fucking. It's so archaic. Yeah, I don't need an Olympic athlete. Just... <laughs> yeah, how many they don't have the athleticism to, to get out there and compete? <laughs> yeah, I'm going for the just two oh, minutes of fucking and they're over. Oh, Oh, what did we do? What did we do? Yeah, uh, there's sexism and Lewis voice again, so you could drink twice. Oh, oh geez, sexism. sexism. The name of it's Legion of Skanks. <sighs> One. But yeah, who needs... Oh, us. twice, Can right? we... Can I get more? Who needs uh, an Olympic athlete, you know? You're just plowing. Yeah, get on all four. What kind of marathon session you going to need? I don't need Brian athletic, Poitano. An athletic chick is groom <laughs> Brian Poitano. <laughs> <laughs> one time, uh, this is, this is you're not going to believe this one. It was the last week of senior year, so we're just getting crazy. We're about to graduate, so we're at this park having a big keg party, just middle of the day. So then... This, is this high school or This college? is high school. We're, I'm, I went to a Catholic high school. We're in our uniform. Yeah. We got like a half day, so we're like, let's go to the park. We've got a keg. We're out there. It's like you know, a hundred of us drinking. So my friend Packy, who was like a sophomore, his he wasn't Pakistani. His name was like <laughs> like Pakistan, Jeff Pakistan or something. So we called him Packy. And he, he shows was, up with my friend Dirty Turk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So he was this crazy kid who we let hang around us. He was way younger. He was like two feet tall, skinny as hell. But he was he was he would do anything you said, like go jump off that building, go say a racial slur in front of that guy's face. That's like face. a jackass. Kind it of was like Jack, but yeah, he yeah, was yeah, yeah. fearless. That, that guy really shined for a little bit. He was. In, in, I think his name's Stevo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's still doing pretty good. In and out of boarding school, like parents killed themselves in front of him. One of these kids, you know, just seen it yeah. all. He was up for anything. <laughs> so we we he goes, oh, I got to get something. Oh, the, there's a house party. There's a house party. So we jump on in my car at a convertible. We jump in my car. We're going to this house party. We're in our our uniforms and everything. And I'm trying, it's rush hour now, so I'm trying to get into a, a, a lane to merge off the highway. And I go, hey, man, can I get in? Can I get in? The guy goes, nope. <laughs> Gives me like a hard nope. And I was like, fuck this guy. So I get in behind him and I bump him just for the hell of it. We're hammered. You know, it's, you know, it's five o'clock. We're yeah. shit faced. I bump him. I give him a little taparoo. So then he's like, he's in the mirror. I, going, I love the idea of drunk driver being like, ah, I just gave her a little taparoo. Little tap, Who cares yeah. where kids are around? T -tie tapper. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, in the mirror, like, what the fuck's he going on here? Into my car. And we're doing like the, ah, you know, blow me. He had a ponytail. It was a whole thing. No offense. And uh, <laughs> I have a ponytail. You. Whatever you fucking drunk boat dad. <laughs> so, no uh, so he's like, fuck you, I'll kill you, whatever. And then we're like, oh, this guy wants to play. So I tap him again. Now he puts his car in park. That would send me over the edge. That would yeah. make me so goddamn. <laughs> so, like, yeah, like if you did it, like you were like, Wait, oh, look, this, back, this is when we were in the beginning. We go, what's wrong with Mark's brain? I love that Mark goes, oh, this guy wants to play, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I tap him again. <laughs> what state is this in? Louisiana. This is New Orleans. So he puts the car in park. He gets out. So now we're like, well, I guess this is on, you know. Yeah. But well, there's two of us. I got Packy here. Packy will fucking <laughs> just <laughs> lunge at him like a rat. You know? Packy, real quick, take out his knees. <laughs> yeah, I'll just. You know, claws neck. <laughs> so uh, he gets out and he walks past me. So I'm kind of like ready. Walks past me, goes to the back of the car, reads my license plate, memorizes it, walks back up, slams his fist on my hood and gets in his car. And I was like, huh, well, that was weird. So now traffic's kind of moving a little bit. And I'm like, fuck this guy. What? Huh? No, no, oh, no. Right. He was he had like so uh, sandals on and shorts. He was like a hippie kind of guy. So now I'm like, well, that was weird. But he's on a cell phone. This is when cell phones were like. If somebody's on a cell phone, you noticed it. Yeah. You know, big yeah. brick. And I was like, oh, that's weird. So now we're on the main streets, and I'm following him, but something's up. And then he gets to a green light, stops, and I stop behind him. And everybody's like, why isn't this guy going during the green light? There's a bar on the corner. A guy runs out of the bar, jumps in my convertible. Ah! Jesus Christ. Crazy. He had a leather jacket on. He was just day drinking at some bar. It was fucking, we're like, ah! <laughs> You know, he's in the back, and I'm trying Even to drive. Packy? Yeah, Packy. So, so I'm driving now. The, the the guy in the car peels off. He's like, I'm out of here. Fuck these guys. But my friend will handle this, the ex-con or whoever that guy is. The guy who waits at bars for the phone call. So, so Bill, it's for you. It's Jeff. I've been waiting for this call for five years. Yeah, just, I, this man saved my life back in Nam, and I owe him one. He just the red phone. his drink for you. He goes, put it on my tab. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, he just takes a drink, yeah. shoots it, and he goes, fill another one. I'll be back in five. He <laughs> runs his out, fingers. Door slings open, cling, 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 jumps in the back seat, pulls Packy back there. They're having a fist fight on their knees <laughs> in the back seat, just like a cartoon. So I'm just like, ah! I'm driving, looking backwards, what? trying to not He's, kill why myself. Are you still driving because we're on the street. The street is moving, so so I'm like, ah, and I'm like trying to do swings like back here, like trying to help Packy, like doing some backward hammers, you know, this like, is like trying to get this guy, like a mom a, disciplining her children in the back seat. You guys stop it. Yes, exactly. I will turn this car around. <laughs> exactly. Take so, you back to your creepy bar. So this is a man. This is a guy's, you know, balding. He's got a leather jacket on with patches on it. And, he, you know, he's got a half a beard. This is a dude. Beating up kids in the convertible. Beating up a kid. But oh. that, that retard mom strength kicks in where you're just, like, scared for your life, you know? Fight or flight. So Packy's like, ah! he's one of those, you know, like, windmill, 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 windmill. And uh, so I just scream. I go, Packy, push him out. Push him out. So Packy gets some kind of demon in him and he just gets up under the guy and goes ah! and the guy goes over the back seat off the trunk rolls onto the street and then like cars by him go wah, wah, try not to hit him somebody runs over his hand and I'm like oh the guy goes ah! I'm like oh my god what is happening 
<laughs> so we go to the house party, and we're like, oh, my God, you're not going to believe We're telling everybody. I got oh. a whole powwow around the, the living room. I'm like, this crazy pack he pushed him out. It was insane. And Paggy's just sitting in the corner smoking, not saying anything. He was a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's since died. But uh, you, should, you should have Packy with you at all times. I, yeah, I think he's dead now. Yeah, there's no way that guy's alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah. my God. He got the hit Packy or something. Packy took that guy's seat at the bar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <Yeah>. exactly. <laughs> So so, uh, what's the order for tonight? You've got is Zahed Young Blood or Young Blood Zahed, and then Young Blood is Zahed. hosting. He's featuring, sure, and then uh, then the man himself. Uh, yeah, Chappelle's dropping in. He's gonna do uh, twenty <laughs> minutes of preaching, and sure. then uh, <laughs> exactly eight minutes and yeah. something seconds. Of... Right, right. <laughs> what uh, <laughs> what's next on the on the tour dates? Well, you know, it, you can't really get the cream of the crop now. Like, this is a great gig. This Houston Improv, and I did uh, Addison a couple weeks ago, uh, which is in Dallas. But next week is Greenville, North Carolina, or South? It doesn't Give matter. A, it feels like a North. Feels, feels like, like a, a North. North. The North will rise again. The North vibe. The North and uh, <laughs> so that'll. I've never been to Greenville. I don't know anything about. Is it South? south. Ah, fuck. The South will rise. I hate again. lose. Ah. I hate losing a fifty-fifty. It hurts. It, it's it's so. You, it's just even. Anyways. I hear you. Even Steven. But look up Comedy Zone, because there is a Greenville in both Carolinas, so it's a real cunt. But uh, that should be an interesting gig. And I'm getting a lot of guys with camouflage baseball hats going, I'm coming out, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, you know, who knows? I don't discrim. Yeah. We, we had the guy, uh, I shouldn't, shouldn't say his name, but Hunter Brown. <laughs> and uh, he was the fucking scariest, most fearless guy. And he would do shit that was just mean for his sake. Like, it was just funny to him. And yeah. no one else liked it. It was like, damn, that's cold-blooded. But he was like, ah, he's laughing in the corner. Like, one time he was standing by a keg at a party. And he's like, you need a refill? Give me that. And he would turn around and pour it. And I looked over, and his dick was in the cup <laughs> while he's filling with beer. And I'm like, who does that help? Yeah. You know, like, it gives you a, a quick giggle, but this guy's drinking your dick juice now, and it doesn't hurt him enough, really. I don't know. There's no point to it except fucking him, with people. Yeah. Is he, like, a tough guy, too? He could be. He would fight if you wanted him to, but he was uh, he was just all about mischief. Like, he yeah. one time he was like, we got to put this grandfather clock in the pool. And I'm like, I don't know, man. That's an old <laughs> clock. I think weighs a thousand pounds. He's like, so you gotta get important it. to somebody. Yeah. So we're sitting on the couch drinking a beer, trying to make out with girls and stuff. And he's like, All right, I'll get the skateboard. You bend it over, then we'll prop it up on the skateboard. We'll wheel it right out of here. I'm like, but then we have to leave. And he's like, I know, but it'll be great. He was that guy. And now he's like the uh the the treasurer for a big college. So oh, I don't know where he, I don't know how they hired his ass. Hunter They're, Brown does sound like the treasurer of a college. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've had two threesomes together, me and Hunter. Really? He's the guy who filmed me with the video camera when the girl sat on my face. Oh, that was him. <laughs> what? what? What is that? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. What is, yeah, what college you, man. Yeah. Good times. You, all right. No, <laughs> Basically, I was uh, plowing a, a, a rotund right. lady, and uh, I couldn't get it up anymore. So I said, all right, just come up here, and, and I'll pleasure you. While you so, you, so instead of you, yeah. you I think that's a nice thing. But I had her knees on both sides of me, and I look over and I heard giggling. My friend's holding a VHS style <laughs> camcorder like the, on the shoulder, and he's just in the doorway, like. Ah! <laughs> and then she gets up. She's like, "What the fuck?" And she's chasing him, and he's filming her while running. <laughs> this is all gonna get me in trouble. But uh, you didn't do anything. You didn't. Yeah, I didn't do anything. <laughs> What I is this? It. I love it. I love it. <laughs> what is this segment? Pigtails. Uh, it's just, uh, you got to tell a story about a fat chick you fucked. Oh, yeah. Well, that was the 90s. <laughs> I mean, come on. You ever fucked a chick on a rascal from a casino? <laughs> Good time. They can't get away. It's not. Yeah, they're not in it for age. They're in it for buffet purposes. Yeah. yeah. Have you fucked a, a ton of fatties? Yeah, yeah. I was just like the wait till the end of the bar guy you know like wait till the bar's closing i know which is now rape true but i was in a blackout as well and yes that's the point they were also waiting to the end of the yes, bar we that were was... all waiting for the end of the bar we were looking right. for the drunkest person in the room hey what's up and you'd, it would be as obnoxious as hey what's up you want to fuck yeah that was it well yeah. I, my move is i you know it'd be hip-hop playing and i would go up and do like the 
the hump behind them, like mm-hmm. dancing with you, <laughs> and then you, you keep pushing like the, the chub on I'm the butt. I'm treating you like a real girl. Yeah, we're dancing the night away. You keep pushing the chub on the butt. You know that move? I know the move. It's yeah, creepy, yeah. but it like you go with the music a little bit. I just never danced yeah. in a club. Like, Times I would really wait. changed. Yeah. I would always go to a dive bar. We go to the Village Idiot. You remember the Village Idiot, right, Dave? I remember the lights that bar. would come up at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yep. in New York City. The lights would just come up. They go last call. Lights are up. Everyone's drinking their last drink. Now music's off. Yeah. It's a sad, sad environment. And typically, I start hovering around the grossest, drunkest chick. Yeah. It has, it's a combination. Not only drunk, but also disgusting. Yeah. Because I have to... I got one shot right. It's only last call. Lights up in that moment right now. We've all been waiting for this moment. You got one shot. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Lewis is Clock's rapping, ticking. Wrapping yeah. Eminem in the fucking background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then that's... And I would go up and I would just fucking just try... I would hover. I would, same. Same. I just hover. And then she'd either make eye contact or something. And then one out of ten times it would work, and you'd be like, I'm fucking this disgusting animal. Yeah, and it was the hottest, sweatiest, most uninhibited sex ever because she's not getting laid a ton. I'm horny as hell. We're both shit-faced, and she's grateful to get plowed by five inches of just pure (laughs) lust, you know, and we're both super into it. Yeah, it's great. And fat chicks give. They're generous. Yeah, they really like it. So tell me the uh, the fattest fatty you've ever... Fattied. I banged a gal once from the boot. This is in New Orleans. That was a bar in the New Orleans, and uh, it would shut down at like six. And I was working this pig all night, and uh, finally she kind of let up and and started dancing with me. And we started making out on the dance floor, and I could taste kielbasa. And then uh, we go back to her. Me and a me and a friend. And he Did pulled. Did you really have meat breath? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I was pulling Jimmy Dean out of her teeth, and uh, my friend pulled like a like a good looking lady and uh, he was like a hot guy who was like well dressed and so we go back to his place but we were basically like seniors in high school so he lived with his parents and we had to fuck the gals in the same room as each other and he had the hot one and she's screaming and moaning and I remember I was like sobering up and I had the lady on the floor and, uh, you know, I was on top and I kept rolling over and I was still on top and, (laughs) you know, it was just I kind of wasn't getting it up and then I I have to hear him plowing away like a champ, and she's moaning and screaming, and, and th- my girl's like, everything okay? You gotta, you gotta work up a boner to your friend. <laughs> yes, 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 and she kept looking up like, I wish I was that gal, you know, and it was pretty And pretty so did brutal. you. You wish she was that girl, too. Yeah. I, you looked at her, that was your first guy, she just giggled together, he goes, I know, right? We both wish you were that girl. We all want to be that girl. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty bad. 